Hello and welcome to the Tech Update of this week. This is Sawa. For the past three years, SMIC and Huawei have been relying on the use of deep ultraviolet machines purchased before SMIC and Huawei were placed under the US sanction to manufacture AI chipsets such as the Ascend 910B chipsets. Because this technology is many generations behind when compared with extreme ultraviolet machines being used by rivals such as Samsung and TSMC. While the key challenge here has always been the fact that the yield rate tends to be very low and this process seems to be quite expensive when compared with the use of extreme ultraviolet machines. However, SMIC and Huawei have been able to use this process for the past years successfully. But currently, latest updates suggest that SMIC and Huawei are facing some challenges with the use of deep ultraviolet machines for the mass production of the Asin 910B chipsets, which could affect tech firms such as Alibaba and Baidu. Now, rumors suggest that SMIC is having poor Asin 910B chip production, with a yield rate at the SMIC foundry falling drastically. It is believed that the yield rate has fallen to as low as 20% rate. In other words, out of every five chips manufactured, four out of the five tends to have defects, which is quite alarming. Now, if SMIC fails to address this within the shortest possible time, this is likely going to be one of the biggest setbacks for Huawei and SMIC in this year. Now, this year alone, SMIC intends to produce over 500,000 Ascend 910B chipsets for Huawei. So, failure to address this could make these projections made by SMIC very difficult to achieve. Bear in mind that SMIC is currently using old deep ultraviolet machines, which have been modified by SMIC to enable SMIC manufacture 7 nanometer chipsets and even if possible 5 nanometer chipsets. So, things like this are bound to happen. One of the biggest challenges with the use of deep ultraviolet machines is that Unlike extreme ultraviolet chip making equipment, where it takes about 9 steps to complete the chip fabrication, deep ultraviolet machines on the other hand can take as many as over 34 steps to complete the chip fabrication process. Moreover, as a result of the US sanction, SMIC can equally not switch to the use of extreme ultraviolet chip making equipment which could have enabled SMIC reduce the rate of production defects as well as beat down production costs. Now, demand for AI chipsets from Huawei this year has been on the rise in China. This even led to Nvidia reducing the price of their AI chipsets just to stay competitive in the Chinese market. Now, major concern here is that if SMIC fails to address these defects within the shortest possible time, this could have negative implication on major Chinese tech firms, including Alibaba and Baidu who have switched from the use of chipsets from NVIDIA to chipsets from Huawei. Beyond this, rumor also suggests that Huawei is quietly working on another 5 nanometer AI chipset, that is the Ascent 910 c which is likely to be released September this year. But with this latest challenge being faced by SMIC, the production of these chipsets might also be affected. For now, this remains a developing story. We hope Huawei and SMIC finds a solution to this challenge, as they always do. I will be keeping you posted on the latest updates on this. Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this content informative, kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. Peace out.